Hello friends and welcome to this topic. We are having the 17th topic from the chapter 2 titled Multi-Rate Digital Signal Processing. So after understanding the details of the very important multi-rate operations, the interpolation and decimation, we know the sampling rate, its conversion by non-integer factor, the multi-stage interpolation as well decimation, the polyphase decomposition and the understanding of digital filter banks that just now we are covered in the previous video. So knowing all these particular operations now I hope you are all familiar and ready to design the multi-rate digital signal processing. Now in this particular topic I am going to address the various applications which will show you the domain of multi-rate signal processing where you can apply all your understandings for the accomplishment of the various tasks to be performed at ease. That is why the topic is titled Applications of Multi-Rate Signal Processing. So let us begin to see what are the details. So here we start with our topic, topic titled Applications of Multi-Rate Signal Processing. So talking about the variety of the applications of digital signal processing especially the multi-rate signal processing if we talk about it can also be applied to a wide domain therefore the very first and the popular application can be seen in terms of designing a phase shifter here so the phase shifter can be achieved at the multi-rate signal processing steps by the design of a network that delays the signal x of n by the fraction of a sample here in the block schematic here you see x of n the discrete time sequence is shown at the rate fx here so here for phase shifting purpose in general here we have the interpolation as well as the decimation used here the use of the low pass filter and the delay by the k samples so at the intermediate levels here we have i multiplied to fx so while the signal processes through the different blocks as shown in the block schematic and finally at the output it will be denoted by y of n and here it will be the sampling rate here. As we are also understood with the polyphase decomposition structure for bringing more efficiency here. So the same example application here as it is the first application I am discussing can also be made possible with the help of the structure that you see here. So here we have x of n then we shall be having the functions p sub x 0 of n, p sub x 1 of n, p sub x 2 of n. So in general up to p sub x k of n the kth function here and the last it will be p sub x i minus 1 of n here. And here the output will be there and it will be obtained at a rate of capital I multiplied to that of the fx here. So this was the first application design of the phase shifter. After design of the phase shifter another popular application is to have in general interfacing of the digital systems with the different sampling rates here. So this is basically the motive to bring the multi-rate signal processing and here we can say that for conversion of the signal from first system to analog form and then resampling it at the input to a second system using the clock in the system uh, is of course a general scenario here. If you see here in the block schematic uh, we have here the system A in the first block and here it follows interpolation to this particular block. So for interpolation what it is x of n we obtain at the rate i multiplied by fx here. So fx that it was for the system a goes to i times fx here and here it is a clock a connected to this. Then we have digital sample and hold circuit it brings i suffix fy as we go from the clock B connected to the decimator and the system B here. Uh, so this was the introduction in brief to the point here. 
Now we can talk about the implementation of the narrow band low pass filters here. So the first point we can make here that the multi stage implementation of sampling conversion often provides for a more efficient realization and especially when the filter specifications are very light. Next to that we can say that a low pass linear phase FIR filter may be more efficiently implemented in a multi stage decimeter interpolator configuration. Now next to this point we can also address the application of multi rate signal processing in the area of using the subband coding or the signal of the speech type here. So speech signals are also there to be processed with the help of the subband coding here. So in this particular schematic you see there it is the speech signal and it is to be processed in this particular fashion. So here we have the subband coding. The first stages here we have the low pass filter then the high pass filter, low pass filter there it is along with the decimeter Again, we have split into the low pass and high pass. Then there it is a decimeter at the second stage. Then again a split into the low pass and high pass along with the decimeter. And finally, encoder it is paired to the channel. So these many branches will be there going towards the channel here. Now corresponding to the filter functions here. Here we have the spectral analysis. In very brief, we can see here. So as we have omega the angular frequency here. So here we have the plot of the filter functions the amplitude level so for 1, 2, 3 and 4 in general here we have and you can see the span they have on the frequency axis here. And next to that you can also visualize this spectral um, analysis where we have the filter functions denoted H0 of omega and h1 of omega very adjacent to each other here and the practical case here we have the overlapping here we find here. Now the application of multi ray digital signal processing can also be in terms of the trans multiplexers here. So here we have a simple block diagram to explain the trans multispectral operation here. So here we have the FDM signal here and it is paid as input to A to D converter analog to digital converter. We have the various SSB demodulators first of all and they are giving their output to be paid as input to the decimeter stages here and finally generating S1 of N, S2 of N and in general S suffix capital N of small n here. And then here we have the TDM multiplexer and finally the TDM signal is generated here. Now here one more block schematic can also be shown where X of N here we have and by the use of the cosine and the sine functions paid to the summation here. The use of low pass filters uh, the filter function in time domain for discrete domain. H of n and the use of the decimations here. And finally, for this particular application, the trans multiplexer application, here we have TDM signal that is paid as input, and uh, with the help of the commutator, here we can have connection to the various branches having the interpolator and the SSB modulators. And finally, we can have the summation of all the branches and giving through the digital to analog conversion we can generate FDM signal. So in the earlier uh, block schematic we had the FDM to TDM here we have TDM to FDM here. So it is trans multiplexer also made possible with the help of the multi rate signal processing here multi rate digital signal processing. So it is basically conclusion to the subject uh, not exactly the subject but the multi rate digital signal processing domain here and uh, by the next lectures we shall continue uh, to have the practice of the filter design the performance of the quadrature mirror filter especially related to the digital filter bank the previous topic before this video and the performance of the QMA filter bank here. So it will be of course into the 
MATLAB domain here and then we can start with the rest of the chapters associated to the advanced digital signal processing as like the understanding of the discrete time random process then the power spectral estimation and all others here thank you